War in Ukraine is grouping EU member states for Ukraine. Are we preparing for a war without an end and gradually pushing Europe into World War III? Let's find out. The European Union alongside its member states has committed 32 billion euros in military aid for Ukraine. This includes 6.1 billion euros allocated through the European Peace Facility specifically for military equipment delivery. In March 2024, the Council established a Ukraine Assistance Fund worth 5 billion euros, raising the total financial support under the European Peace Facility to 11.1 billion euros. Additionally, the EU military assistance mission for Ukraine, with a budget of 362 million euros, addresses the training requirements of the Ukrainian armed forces and has successfully trained over 47,000 Ukrainian soldiers. The European defense industry has significantly increased its production capacity for ammunition by 40%. There is a critical need to speed up the delivery of missiles and ammunition, particularly under the initiative to supply 1 million rounds of artillery ammunition and to enhance Ukraine's air defense systems. But before we continue if you're enjoying this briefing please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. To further boost production capacities, the EU has adopted the Act in Support of Ammunition Production ASAP, which will bolster the defense industry's ability to produce more ammunition and missiles rapidly. This regulation aims to reinforce the supply chains for ammunition and missiles within the EU, ensuring prompt delivery to Ukraine and assisting member states in replenishing their stocks. On May 29, the Swedish government unveiled its 16th and largest military support package for Ukraine since Russia's extensive invasion commenced. This package, amounting to SEK 13.3 billion, is designed to address Ukraine's prioritized needs, particularly in strengthening its air defense capabilities. The Swedish support will significantly enhance Ukraine's overall military strength in response to the escalating pressure from Russia, which is intensifying its airstrikes on both military and civilian targets. Sweden's contribution includes the provision of airborne surveillance and control aircraft, ASC-890, which will enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities against both airborne and maritime threats. This donation also includes a comprehensive solution encompassing training, technical equipment, and methodological support for air surveillance and command and control. Additionally, Sweden will send its entire stock of armored tracked personnel carriers, PBB-302, to support the formation of new Ukrainian brigades, along with artillery ammunition and resources for the maintenance of previously donated equipment. Since the beginning of Russia's aggressive war in February 2022, Sweden has provided SEEK of $43.5 billion in aid to Ukraine. The support package also includes advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, RB-99 AMRAM, which can be utilized in both aircraft and ground-based air defense systems. These missiles will be modified for ground-based use and Sweden will procure new missiles to replace those donated. The inclusion of 155mm artillery shells aims to bolster Ukraine's capability to engage Russian units on the battlefield. To address the temporary reduction in Sweden's defense capability resulting from this donation, Sweden plans to procure additional S-106 globally aircraft and expedite orders for two new globally aircraft. Furthermore, replacement grenades and armored vehicles will be acquired to offset the donated PBV-302S. In addition to military hardware, the support package includes financial aid, satellite communications equipment, maintenance support, tank vehicles, and research initiatives. The Swedish Defense Research Agency will assist Ukraine in establishing its own defense research institute. Ukraine's command and control capabilities will also be enhanced through the donation of satellite communication terminals with subscriptions. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.